Hey everyone, it's Dominique, and in this video I'm going to show you very basic um, coloring with these Copic Chow markers that a friend of mine is graciously letting me use. So the point of these markers is to color or to draw stamped images, for example, and because they are alcohol based, it would be very wise to put something underneath your work surface, like a magazine or old newspaper, whichever you like. Um, when you stamp your image, don't use the stays on ink because it will bleed or leak or whatever you want to call it and can soak through the image when you start to color. So the ink recommended is um, the Memento ink and this is what it looks like. It's tuxedo black, and these images were already pre-stamped. And the colors I'm using for skin, bear in mind, this is my first attempt, and then my second attempt using my friend's uh, already colored photo as a guide. So the key is to use the lighter color first along your surface, and don't press too hard, and don't make stroking motions. You want to color uh, with the super brush end. It's double ended. So this end looks like your typical marker. And then the other end looks more like a paintbrush. So this is milky white color E51. I'm going to try and film and color at the same time. So you just want to go lightly with your lightest color or lightest shade first. And the great thing is you can blend these any way you want. You can also take your lighter marker and touch your darker shade and then color it in to blend which was very handy and very useful. And the reason why you want to make circular or flicking motions is so you don't create any stripes. So I'm just going as quickly as I can. And don't worry if you don't color every single part in because as you blend you probably will end up covering those spaces anyhow. And her other hand. Okay, and oh, she has knees apparently. So just pick your markers, two or three of them in the shades that are closest to each other. That way they blend nicely. And it gives a nice um, watercolored effect without the water, which is nice. And the next skin color, these are the same two colors that I used for this stamped image. Um, the next one my friend recommended was color R20. And it's called Blush. Once again, go with the paintbrush end. And the way my friend recommended it was to visualize the lighting yourself. So then you use a darker color for the shadows. So I tend to, as you can see here, I tend to make my shadow a little more on this side of the image. But practice makes perfect, so you'll see that I'm trying to go as light as I can and not too much because after this I'm going to go along with the first color with the lightest shade and go over it and blend it in together and with these skin tone colors um, once they dry, it doesn't take long, but once they dry then the skin tone colors do tend to light up <clears throat> lighten up a bit more, which is good because it gives it a more natural look. And 
Now I'm just going to quickly take the first color I'd used and just color over it. And the colors do not transfer between tips. So these Copic markers are an investment, but try them if you can first in person. Strongly recommend it. They're really easy to use. They give a nice effect. They're great for cards, bookmarks, whatever you use them for. So as you can see, there's sort of a dark line here, but not too much, and you can blend with the one pen or one marker by letting a layer dry and then going over the edge or shadows again with the same color. And it would also give a nice blending effect. There you go. That's how you use the Copic Chow markers. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.